Hello YouTubers! So, in the first episode I showed you how to fit the Raspberry Pi inside of this Nest Mini clone. Today I will show you how to connect the Raspberry Pi so you can uh, use the switches to turn the system on and off and also to turn the LED on and off. Let's get started. And the Empire needs you. Okay, so all you need to do this mod is uh, three jumper cables, female female cables, uh, and one screwdriver. So the screws is removed. I will show you how to do this mod. Okay, if I would have cut this cable when I started this, if I cut the cable over here, maybe I would be able to use the cable all the way to the GPIO. I'm not sure, but probably I could make this fit uh, without the cables, but ah, never mind. By the way, if you think one of these, two of these look funky, uh, it's because I made it myself. I didn't have <laughs> any jumper cables at all, so I just found one that was for something else and then I made two. So, okay, I, I'll show you how to connect these. Uh, you could actually just uh, do this the quick and dirty way <coughs> and uh, solder them uh, from this without removing this board but uh, f just I will show you how to do it uh, the easy way I guess so start off with removing the screw from the under side Remove this uh, port cover. Then you just take this, grab this board and just pull it straight up. There's nothing to it. There you have it. Let's remove this. Uh, <clears throat> so I already done some research, and uh, this is where the voltage power goes in. And this is for the ground and the uh, the, the second one uh, is for uh, reset. I will show you, okay? I need some help from the king. So I'll use the king of Sweden. Uh, I, I, go, I'll, I tend to always do this now thanks to UAV Futures. Uh, Stu, I think it's called. He's gave, he, he had this tip about using the blue... blue uh, Blue, blue tech. I think it's called blue tech. Uh, we call it heftmasa. So I'm going to use this heftmasa. I'm going to use the king. So please bear with me, king. This just makes it so much easier to solder some things. Uh, okay, so <coughs> I will start off with the uh, ground, and this one for the power to the LED and this one next to the ground is for the reset button okay so let's get started okay I need to get the ground on this over here I need to get some fresh solder on my tip of the solder iron okay just First one, I will use the yellow for reset button signal. Second one, going in. Okay, and then okay, then then the power one is the red one. Okay, so just to be clear, uh, the power is the one closest to the LED and the, the buttons, and the, the uh, ground is closest to the controller ports, okay? So make no mistakes. And then the second one here 
is for the reset button. Okay, let's do the soldering. Uh, now I will fit the board back into the, the, the case. You need to add the, the buttons first or you won't be able to get them in the case later. Okay, so start with the buttons. And then you need the, the board and you need to make sure that the LED goes into the LED slot in the front and also that the, the connectors fit. So that's it. Really simple. And now you need to connect uh, the cables, okay? The jumper cables. So what I will do is I'll show you which ports to use. I will zoom in. Okay, so everything is back in the case, uh, and now you need to attach the jumper cables. Uh, <coughs> so I start off with the, the ground. There are several grounds on this, but I'm going to use this. Uh, the ground here is the third pin from the outer outside. One, two, three. Number three is the ground. So I attach the ground. Then I need to have the uh, reset signal, and that's the opposite side of the ground, just in the inner number three. One, two, three. That's the reset signal. And that you go to your number next to the ground here. And then you have the power. Uh, and I'm going to use the UART, I think it's called UART, uh, to, to power the LED. By the way, make these cables long enough that you could remove the Pi without removing the cables. If you want to, it's just much easier if you ask me. Or you could make them really short and, and it would look a little bit better, I guess. More neat. Just tuck this in. Get the Raspberry Pi in place, put the case on, and uh, let's try this out. So I need to tell you there are a couple of things I, I, I had to do in order to get the uh, LED to light up and the uh, buttons to work. You need to do to run a script for the buttons and you need to, to edit the config and uh, add something about UART on or something. I will add the text you need to add in your config if you don't have it for the I.O. pins to get active in serial mode so the LED gets the power uh, and also I will add a link for the description how to add the, the script it's really simple so you need to do that I press the reset button to, to start and to shut down this uh, uh, RetroPie and the power button is just for the LED. So I can turn off the LED if I want to. Uh, I find it quite annoying having the LED when you're sitting watching game or something. So that's a nice feature. Okay, so it's on now. It's loaded. Let's try to press the reset for shutdown. S music stopped right away takes a few seconds then it turns off and then the the TV would yeah so no signal uh, well so that's all fine if you want to turn on press the reset button again you say the LED is turn on the rest of price booting Okay, so if you are anything like me, you don't want to go to the console pressing the, the power button. You just want to be able to start it from your couch. So I'm going to use the, the power socket with the remote from the couch. So I'm just going to show you how to start it up. I'm uh, going to show you starting it. It's nothing to it, just pressing a button. So now the, the Raspberry Pi is off. So I press the, the on button that turns on you can see the LED on the screen is loading here you go 
please hit the like button if you liked or enjoyed this video uh, thumbs down if you don't comment uh, I might do more project in the future so subscribe if you want to see more uh, it's been a pleasure thank you and goodbye